Mr. President, <laughs> Ambazonian land is for Ambazonians. Please talk to us about the land in Ambazonia and the purpose of this order. What even inspired you to put out this order? I know there must have been some clearance calls coming in left and right for you to do something about this. What was the motivation and why this uh, executive order? I, as I said, we are not we are not um, ob oblivion to to the crisis in Zimbabwe. We we we, we saw how uh, the land issue became a thorny political issue that led to the collapse of uh, uh, the Zimbabwean economy. We are also aware that the the Zimbabweans did not uh, institute. Um, the land reclaim order immediately after their independence because they thought it will inhibit um, South African independence. We, so we've, re, we've realized also in the conflict in, in Rwanda between the Tutsis and, and, the, and the Hutus that land was a principal uh, issue that led to the issue of genocide. So the question of land is, 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 is critical for the survival of every people. Back to Ambazonia, we, we, we are witnesses to ongoing practices. And uh, in the past, we thought this were just a kind of buy and sell and practices between the buyer and the seller. seller yeah. uh, we came to realize in, in, in our history that a deals became agents in fueling um, tribal conflict and, and because of land, a, a, a conflict between two villages and, and elites uh, promise to pay deals, a lot of money, they engineer a particular kind of conflict. Mm -hmm. uh, and land was practically the, the basic issue that fueled those particular conflicts. We have also seen um, large swaths of land being claimed, um, reclaimed from the CDC and being sold to multiple buyers, mostly Cameroonians, especially in Fako, and, 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 and entire areas have been occupied by Cameroonians through these practices. We have also seen that because of the terrible economic situation, political repression, and the poverty, um, many families have resorted to selling lands to Cameroonians as a one-way ticket into exile. We have also seen family conflicts where authorities of La Republic are brought by powerful family members and other family members are dis disenfranchised from, 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 from their land because of their association with, with Cameroon authorities. We have seen uh, deals and, and SDOs and, and commanders and, and governors become intermediaries in, 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 in the acquisition and sale and sale of land. So and we, are, we are engaged in, in, in a war and they have also sped up this acquisition and sale of land, which will become very problematic. So while we are dealing with a national issue of liberation, we are also dealing with micro issues of, uh, of, of, of conflicts within our society associated with the very land that we are fighting for. So at the end of the day, who is going to own this land? Because at the end of the day in Zimbabwe, the people who fought and died for the land never had access to the rich uh, 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 pieces of real estate that could have given them access to a possibility of, uh, of agriculture. We still realize that in South Africa, uh, land is in the hands of powerful individuals, rich individuals, and it doesn't give access to the poor. So if we want a post uh, a stable, independent Ambazonia, we must begin to address the issue of who owns the land in Ambazonia during this period of resistance. So that inspired uh, uh, um, us to ask the Justice Department of the Ambazonian Governing Council to look into this practice and codify it in a way that forestall the kind of outcome that we are afraid of. Okay. 
Thank you very much, Mr. President. And I have people sent me some questions, and I will, if you don't mind, I would like to ask you this. Uh, some people are of the opinion that the, la the land, the land is their inherited land given to them by their forefathers or their ancestors. So, uh, by right, they have every, they, they have every right to say it to whoever they please. And so, what do you have to say with uh, this mindset? with people with this kind of mindset no it's, it's a national security issue right you don't you can't be in london and you you have a house and a piece of land you just do whatever you want the every land in ambazonia is a national treasure of the ambazonian people you 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 own that piece of land you don't have powers to design you know any kind of house in any particular piece of land you don't have the right to do whatever you you want to do with a particular piece of land especially if it becomes a national security concern that is going to affect the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the state so that argument is lame and should be dismissed immediately okay that's good i hope ambazonians you're listening and uh you've heard it from the leader himself that is a very lame argument and you should keep it where lame arguments have been kept it should not come in the books of Ambazonia. And uh, 